Hello YouTube, PG Park here, and today I'm doing a deck tech of my Zergo EDH deck. This deck revolves around Zergo's ability to become indestructible in my turn. That allows me to do board types without losing Zergo. Zergo's high damage output allows me to reach 21 command damage quite quickly and stealing away the game with it. Taking advantage of his indestructibility, I use Crux of Fate, Extinguish All Hope, Blasphemous Act, and End Hostilities. Unfortunately, End Hostilities removes all equipments on Zergo, which is sometimes counterproductive. In Gork's Wake, it Divine Reckoning allows one creature to survive, but I use it more or less for a flashback. And if I have more than one creature other than Zergo, that creature will survive as well. Board types on the stick like Hypothon the Cruel and Deathburn Regents are able to be reconstructed and are extra power once clear in the board. A personal favorite of mine, Barge of Boulders, makes all creatures un um, unable to block, so it allowed me to cruise by. To deal with individual creatures, I have cards like Condemn, Snuff Out, Doomblade, Tragic Slip, Fiend Hunter, Suspension Field, and Geth Verdict. To deal with individual permanents, I have Banishing Stroke, Mortify, Disenchant, Erase, Oblivion Ring, Utter End, and Banishing Light. To amplify Zergo's damage, I have Teamer Battle Rage, Boros Charm, Fury of the Horde, Relentless Assault, Dictate of the Twin Gods, and Curse of the Bloodletting. Equipment for Zergo, we have World Slayer. World Slayer works excellent with Zergo because when Zergo connects with a player, World Slayer destroys all their tournaments and Zergo survives, and this means nobody can get back online except me. Moonstar Spear is a favorite of mine, allowing me to attack with First Strike and then get a Defensive Angel. Explorer Scope to get some of my mana out. Mask of Akvin for the Hexproof. Archdom Armor to make Zergo pretty much in Drazi. And Steel Shaper's Gift to fetch up these equipments. Creatures accompanying Zergo we have Bullet Gift Demon for the card draw. Rakdos to make Zergo cheaper once he returns to the command zone. Charmbreaker Devils to bring back my board wipes. Aurelia the World Le War Leader to get extra combat to do more damage with Zergo. Cranko, Mob Boss, to put up a defensive wall of goblins. Telsa, Envo Envoy of Ghosts, to discourage people from attacking me. Pristine Angel, another flying blocker. And Heartless Hisigu, deal more damage with his ability. For a sub thing, we have Reanimation. To go along with that, we have Grim Return, to target things that went into my graveyard and opponent's graveyards. Fade Return, if Zerko goes in the graveyard, he can come back permanently indestructible. And Palace Siege, allowing me to get back a creature from a graveyard at the beginning of my upkeep. Palace Siege works as a good combo with these cards. Fletchbag Marauder, Merciless Executioner, and Slum Reaper. These last three creatures allow me to force opponents to sack their own creatures repeatedly at the beginning of each turn. To find the cards I need, I'll use Diabolic Tutor. Diabolic Revelation, Damnable Pack, Faith of Saluting, and Read the Bones. These draw and tutor spells allow me to find the board types and creatures that I need to win. For acceleration, we have mana rocks such as Fire Diamond, Marble Diamond, Charcoal Diamond, Star Compass, and Soul Ring. These allow me to get the out faster. A card just for fun, Scram Burst, just to mix things up. For my Planeswalkers, I have Soren for his emblems, Chandra for her reverberates, and Chandra Pyromaster for her everything, pretty much. My land base is pretty budget, so I just have a shambling mess of budget lands. We have Teetering Peaks, Fluted Mire, and Crossroads, Ractos Canarium, Bog Wreckage, Piranha Marsh, Shimmering Gato, Tesseron Sinks, Buffalo Caves, Akram Refuge, Terramorphic Expanse, Drifting Meadow, Evolving Wilds, Baron Moor, 
Vault of the Archangel, Scarred Barons, Windscarred Crag, Haunted Fangraph, and Nomad Outpost. For my basics, I have six swamps, six mountains, and five plains. This deck is not very competitive, and it really revolves around the idea of board wiping and then smashing in. This deck was designed to defeat Vulture decks and Narset decks alike. This deck is very budget, and upgrading it with some expensive cards would help, like Damnation. I probably should focus a bit more reanimation so I'm able to throw a Zergo in the bin and bring him out, and some of the creatures that I have could be replaced with other ones. If, it's, if you have any suggestions for this deck, please leave them down below. Thank you for watching this video.